All right, hey, I'm uh, I'm Tyler. And I'm Brett. We're gonna show you how to bridge your laptop or PC into a wireless adapter for an Xbox 360. Now, there's been some problems, as you guys know, that you need like it says something like you need two network land or high speed connections blah 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 you know a bunch of different stuff you really have no idea what the uh, what they're talking about yeah but we found the solution actually we had to go check back through a couple videos finding like uh what could have been the problem and but, a lot of people's had this problem but no one has actually showed us exactly how to do it we yeah. just kind of picked up pieces as we went along so. yeah and we're gonna try to attempt to show you today so what you're going to want to do is, this is for Windows 7, by the way, guys. Yes, Windows 7. Not sure if this or not will work, but should. Same concept, but... XP is completely different, so... Yeah, XP is different. Here, you got to go to your little start button. You want to go to Control Panel, Network and Internet Connections, Network and Sharing Center. <clears throat> and you should have Internet, of course, but mine works, it's just not connecting but what you're going to want to do is go to change adapter settings and once you're here it should bring out all the stuff you have it what you want to do beforehand is plug in the ethernet to your laptop and plug it into your xbox you should know how to do that if you don't there will be many videos showing you how yeah definitely um well first what you do is you want to right click this and go to properties and wait till that pops up um and you're gonna yeah. and you're gonna want to go to sharing, and you're gonna want to make sure this is clicked off because that really messes up things. So just make sure that's clicked off. And what you want to do is make sure you have Wi-Fi and stuff, and this shouldn't be here when you do this. But you want to want to control click local area, and you want to control click wireless. And what after that, you just want to click add to bridge, and most of the time, this is what would happen to people. This is what would happen to people. This is what would ha uh, sorry. This is what would happen to people. They have this clicked because they would have that clicked because they thought, oh, that's the sharing, of course, and they would just go to add a bridge. Oops, and something would pop up and it would say network error LAN and stuff. But this one, once you unclick it, that should happen, and it should say enable bridging, and this should pop up connected identifying and then eventually you'll get a connection through here but it won't look like it but you do and uh yeah that's about it guys oh yeah and if you're worried about the xbox not connecting that first that's what happened to us uh you just kind of give it like maybe three or four minutes for it to all do its process and it should be fine so yeah there you go hope you guys enjoy the video and there's a quick fix how to bridge your connection to a laptop